Uncle Joy Schwether's Bay's trip to Boston by Mr. Cal Stewart. <laughs> well, for a long time I had my mind made up to come down here and see you folks in Boston. So, a short time ago I had my crops all gathered in, proud of so, a little money in my pocket, and that be a good time come down here. Well, I was a riding along on the gears a coming here, and along in the night in one of them dark sleeping gears, I felt a fella rummaging around under my bed, and I looked out just in time to see a fella going away with my boots. Well, I know the way the train was a running, he couldn't get off with him without breaking his neck, and about a half an hour he brought him back. I guess they didn't fit him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was sort of glad he took him, cause he had him all shined up, slicker than a new tin whistle. Well, sir, I never was in a town in my life where everybody was so glad to see you, want to have a good time with you, make you enjoy yourself, and be sociable like they are here in Boston. And I'm chock full of sociability, too. I've been going up one street and down the other, getting sociability at ten cents a sociable. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I've seen about everything you got to see here in Boston. I've seen your Bunker Hill Monument and your new library, and the other day I was standing over here by one of your old churches and looking at the cemetery, and I noticed a row of little tombstones there on one of them. It said, Hester Brown, beloved wife of James Brown. On another it said, Prudence Brown, beloved wife of James Brown. On another it said, Matilde Brown, beloved wife of James Brown. Well, I said, Jimmy, old boy, you had a lively time while you was in Boston, didn't you? <laughs> On another it said, Mariah Brown, beloved wife of James Brown. On another it said, Terry Ann Brown, beloved wife of James Brown. Over in a little corner all by itself I seen a little insignificant tool. Stone and on it it said James Brown at rest. <laughs> By chowder, I thought it was about time. 